Direct mail marketing is a powerful tool. It's a way to reach customers right in their homes. You send postcards or flyers through the mail. These materials promote your products or services. It's a simple concept with big potential. Many businesses use direct mail to boost sales. It's also a way for individuals to earn money from home. The beauty of direct mail is its tangibility. People can hold your message in their hands. They can save it for later or act on it right away. This makes it different from emails or online ads. Those can be easily ignored or forgotten. A well-designed postcard stands out in a pile of mail. It grabs attention and sparks interest. Direct mail has been around for decades, but it's not old-fashioned. In fact, it's seeing a resurgence. Many people are tired of digital clutter. In today's digital world, direct mail stands out. It cuts through the noise of endless emails and online ads. People are bombarded with digital messages all day. A physical piece of mail is different. It's tangible and personal. This makes it powerful. Studies show that direct mail has a higher response rate than email. It can be up to 30 times more effective. Direct mail works because it engages multiple senses. You can see it, touch it, and even smell it. This creates a stronger memory than a digital ad. People are more likely to remember your message. They're also more likely to act on it. This is why direct mail is still a go-to for many businesses. It's effective for both big companies and small entrepreneurs. Another advantage of direct mail is its targeting ability. You can send your message to specific groups of people. This is called segmentation. It means you're not wasting money on people who aren't interested. You can target by age, income, location, or interests. This makes your marketing more efficient. Your mailing list is the backbone of your direct mail business. It's a collection of names and addresses. These are the people who will receive your postcards and flyers. Building a good list is crucial. It can make or break your success. There are several ways to create your list. Each has its own pros and cons. One way is to buy a list from a reputable company. These companies sell lists of people who fit certain criteria. You can choose based on age, income, location, or interests. This is a quick way to get started, but it can be expensive. And the quality of these lists can vary. Some people on the list may not be interested in your offer. This can lead to wasted money on postage and printing. Another option is to build your own list. This takes more time, but it can be more effective. You can start with people you know. Ask friends and family if they're interested in your offers. You can also collect names at local events or through your website. This method gives you a list of people who are already interested. Once you have your mailing list, it's time to create your materials. Postcards and flyers are the most common types of direct mail. They're easy to produce and cost-effective to mail, but they need to be well-crafted to be effective. Your goal is to create something that stands out in the mailbox. It should grab attention and spark interest. Postcards are great for simple messages. They're easy to read at a glance. Use bright colors and bold headlines. Keep your message clear and concise. A good postcard has one main offer or call to action. It should be easy for the recipient to understand what you want them to do, whether it's visiting a website, making a call, or coming to a store. Flyers give you more space to work with. You can include more information and images, but don't overdo it. Too much information can be overwhelming. Use headers and bullet points to break up the text. Make it easy to scan. Highlight the most important points. Section 5. Writing copy that sells tips and tricks. The words you use on your postcards and flyers are crucial. Good copy can make the difference between success and failure. Here are some tips to get you started. Focus on benefits, not features. People buy solutions to their problems. Explain how your offer will make the reader's life better. Use phrases like, you'll save time or you'll feel more confident. Use strong, action-oriented language. Avoid passive voice. Act now is more powerful than you can act if you want. Be specific in your calls to action. Call 555-1234 today is better than contact us for more information. Keep it simple and personal. Section 6. Design matters, creating eye-catching materials. The design of your postcards and flyers is just as important as the copy. Good design grabs attention. It makes your message easy to understand. It guides the reader's eye to the most important information. Here are some key principles to keep in mind. Start with a strong headline. This is often the first thing people see. It should be big, bold, and compelling. Use colors that stand out, 
but make sure they're appropriate for your message. Bright colors can grab attention, but they might not be right for a serious business offer. Use high quality images. They should be relevant to your message. Avoid generic stock photos if possible. Real photos of your product or happy customers can be more effective. Make sure the images are clear and high resolution. Blurry or pixelated images look unprofessional. Layout is crucial. Guide the reader's eye through the information. Use a clear hierarchy. The most important information should be the largest. Use white space effectively. Case Studies – Successful Direct Mail Campaigns Learning from successful campaigns can help you create your own. Here are a few examples of direct mail campaigns that worked well. One local pizza shop sent out postcards with a strong offer. They offered a free pizza with any purchase. The result? A 20% increase in orders. A real estate agent sent out monthly newsletters. Each included local market updates and tips. She became known as the local real estate expert. A national retailer used direct mail to drive online sales. They sent out catalogs with their best-selling products. Section 8. The Nuts and Bolts, Printing and Mailing Once you've created your design and copy, it's time to print and mail. This is where your direct mail campaign becomes real. There are several options for printing and mailing, and each has its own costs and benefits. For small runs, you can print at home. This works if you're just starting out. You'll need a good quality printer and paper. It's time consuming, but it keeps costs low. As you grow, you'll want to use a professional printing service. They can handle larger quantities. The quality is usually better too. When it comes to mailing, you have options too. You can do it yourself for small mailings. Just buy stamps and drop them at the post office. For larger mailings, use a mailing service. They can print addresses directly on your postcards. This looks more professional. It's also faster and often cheaper for large quantities. Section 9. Crunching the numbers, costs, and profits. Understanding the financial side of direct mail is crucial. You need to know your costs to calculate your profits. Let's break down the typical costs involved in a direct mail campaign. Design costs can vary widely. If you do it yourself, it might be free. Professional design can cost anywhere from $50 to $500 or more. Printing costs depend on quantity and quality. For 1,000 postcards, you might pay $100 to $300. Postage is a major expense. Standard postcard rates are around 35 cents each. So, for 1,000 postcards, that's $350 in postage alone. Let's say you're selling a product for $50. Your total cost per postcard, including design, printing, and postage, is $1. If 2% of recipients buy your product, that's 20 sales from 1,000 postcards. That's $1,000 in revenue. Subtract your $1,000 in costs, and you've broken even. Any response rate over 2% is profit. To reach $10,000 a month, you'd need to scale up. You might need to send 10,000 postcards a month. Section 10. Measuring success. Key metrics to track. To build a successful direct mail business, you need to measure your results. This helps you understand what's working and what's not. Here are some key metrics to track for each campaign. Response rate is the most important metric. It's the percentage of people who take the desired action. This could be making a purchase, calling a number, or visiting a website. A good response rate for direct mail is 1% to 5%, but it can be higher for well-targeted campaigns. Conversion rate is closely related. This is the percentage of responders who actually make a purchase. If 100 people respond and 20 buy, your conversion rate is 20%. Track this to see how effective your offer is. Return on investment ROI shows the profitability of your campaign. It's your net profit divided by your costs, expressed as a percentage. Section 11, your path to $10,000 a month, getting started today. Now that you understand the basics of direct mail marketing, it's time to take action. Here's a step-by-step -step plan to get started on your path to earning $10,000 a month. First, choose your niche. What products or services will you promote? It could be your own products or affiliate offers. Pick something you're passionate about. This will make your marketing more authentic and effective. Research your market to understand your potential customers. Next, start building your mailing list. Begin with people you know. Join local groups or attend events to meet potential customers. Consider buying a small list to test. 